Hey folks, let's talk a little bit about crawl spaces. Do you vent the crawl space or don't you vent the crawl space? That's the latest question in the building industry. Green energy folks say you definitely don't want to vent your crawl space. Some of the older contractors say, well, you really need to have the vent in your crawl space so that you don't have a buildup of smell or humidity. Um, one of the charts I've recently seen, and I'll show it to you right here, shows that when you put a vent in your crawl space, you introduce warm, humid air from the outside to your crawl space. And whatever the humidity and temperatures are outside, pretty much emulate inside, inside your crawl space. Any levels of humidity that are higher than 50, 60, 70% in your space can create a condition that you can grow mold, especially if the temperatures get up in the right temperature range. So I don't wanna get into all kinds of theories and going crazy here today, um, but I do wanna talk a little bit about this as we go along. What are we doing here today? I have a heated and air conditioned full basement on one side. We have a crawl space on the other side. I've opted not to put vents in the crawl space to the outside. What I'm doing is putting a vent from the basement that's heated and air conditioned to blow the air from there into the crawl space, which is not heated and air conditioned. Again, the idea behind that is to keep a circulation in here, not introduce any outside hot, humid air here in Tennessee, and hopefully reduce the possibility of any mold. One of the things that we've done on this side, which helps quite a bit, is we've put down a vapor barrier and we've laid down a level of concrete. But there's a lot of ways that you can treat that. You can go out on the internet and learn all that stuff yourself. But today, what I really want to talk to you about is this ventilation system that we're going to use. It's in a company called AC Infinity. It's the Air Titan T3 system. Um, it's a little 110 powered uh, fan that goes to 12 volt. It works very well. It actually monitors the temperature hum and humidity in your crawl space and it operates the fan based upon that particular need. So I wanna show that to you today. It's available on Amazon. The link is down below in the comments. But I wanna show you what we're doing here. Um, again, maybe it will help you in making the decision as to what you need to do, whether you should vent your crawl space or not. So come on along today. We're gonna to install the fan, show you how we're gonna do it. It might be a good option for you if you already have vents in your basement and you want to try to um, take care of some of your problems or whether you decide you're going to vent the basement or not. Again, these little fans can either exhaust the air out or they can bring air in depending upon your condition. But so much for me flapping my lips at you. Let's go install the fan. Now the big fun part for me is an old man like me trying to get out of the crawl space. It's only three foot high. So bear with me as I crawl by you. So the first thing we need to do is take some measurements of the opening here. What I'm going to do is build a little wooden frame box that will go the full depth of the concrete block into the other side. The fan has a grate on the front and a grate on the back. And the little probe that senses the temperature and the humidity will go through the back side and go down on, into the uh, crawl space area. Because that's what you want to monitor. You want to monitor the humidity and the temperature out there. And that will drive the fan to send air from the condition side into that space over there. All little houses have enough little nooks and crannies and vents. You know, you've got holes that go through where your electrical wire and everything goes through, and there's gonna be holes on the other side where the plumbing is gonna go through. So it should be enough to be able to send the air in and kind of pressurize that space and blow it out any of the openings on the other side. I may just have to put a larger opening over here just to create the circulation. I just want to talk in general a little bit about uh, vented and non-vented crawl spaces. Now, I've been doing this for a number of years. We've had quite a few old houses. I've been in construction. Uh, we've done a lot over the years when it comes to older homes and crawl spaces and stone foundations on older homes. One of the things that we've always done is try to seal that basement as much as you possibly can to keep down the moisture and the dampness and the smell. So do you vent or do you not vent the crawl space? The latest feeling of everybody, you know, green building and everyone is that you shouldn't vent your crawl space. You're going to be adding in humid outside air to your space and it builds up more humidity in your crawl space than if you leave it unvented. 
you know, some people feel that, you know, well, I'd really like to blow it through there. I don't really want to have, you know, any buildup of any smell at all. So one of the things you can do, and that's what we're doing here, is you're going to add a power vented space fan. That will help your situation. Now, I don't recommend necessarily that you power the fan coming from outside and blowing the air into your space. What you're going to want to do is put the powered fan on your crawl space and suck the air out. That way, any humidity or moisture that's built up on the inside of your crawl space gets blown out. You're not introducing anything that comes in. It's really important to try to keep your crawl space, regardless of the height of it, or your basement, regardless of the height of it, you know, somewhat dry and, and moisture free. Uh, this little fan system, I think, is going to help quite a bit with that. So if you have questions, reach out to me. Um, I'd be more than happy to help. I, I'm, again, I'm no pro, but I've been doing this for a number of years. I'd be more than happy to uh, answer your questions. You know, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to get back to you um, and give you my thoughts on it. The nice thing about using scrap wood, I don't really have to make the box perfect on the outside. That's going to be between the uh, flex duct and the concrete block. The most important thing is that the inside of the box is the same as the fan. So we're going to create a nice clear channel from the fan straight over into the back of the crawl space. Okay, now that it's all mounted, what I'm going to have to do is drill some holes for the wires that's going to have to come out. The wire for the actual fan motor needs to be able to go to the controller, which is going to be on this side of the uh, of the system. And then on the back side, there's going to be a probe that hangs down inside of the crawl space. So that will uh, monitor the temperature and humidity, and that's what drives the fan to come on and uh, go off. Now, I don't believe that this fan is going to be going in the right direction. I believe that this fan is going to be going out in this direction, which means I'm going to have to take the unit apart, flip the fan around, so when it operates, it actually blows the temperature, the warm uh, and cool air that's been conditioned and dehumidifiered in our existing basement into the crawl space. Now, before we actually install it, though, we're going to paint this and caulk it all up as well, just before we mount it. Okay, the moment of truth. There we go. It's like a glove. Now what we're going to need to do before we install it, I'm going to have to drill some holes over to the side over here to be able to get the cord out to go to the controller for the fan um, and to be able to run the wire in through the back to drop the uh, sensor on the inside. What we'll do is we'll paint the unit clock it all up. This way we'll have a nice channel that will go straight from the fan in through and you know it won't be blowing any air directly on the block. It'll be a nice smooth surface so I can actually go on the other side and clean it if I ever needed to. Okay here's the finished box uh, that I'm going to put the fan in and put up in the opening today. Uh, painted it all up, sealed it all up with caulk so uh, now we've got a good way to be able to have a nice clean venting system that's going to go through this area to the other side. Here's how the box comes from Amazon, and you can order directly from their site as well. That's the AC Infinity site as well. Same price. Nice thing about Amazon, it's free shipping. So basically, this is the system. It's a fan system that's reversible that you can either blow the air in or blow the air out. And then it's got a little control panel. It also has a sensor. This is your uh, control switch. This is the power cord. And this is the uh, sensor that I was talking about. This actually is a little probe that you take and you hang on the inside of your crawl space. And this is what measures the humidity and temperature and what the fan settings would actually run by. So let's put it all together and get it installed. So this is the finished product. You can see I built the housing, we caulked it all in, and we've tied it all into power and the controllers down here where I can reach it from the floor. So I'll talk to you a little bit about the settings. I have the fan on, on right now. 
as you can see, it's still very quiet. Right now it's running at a level six. Uh, one through 10 is what the full capability of the fan is running. But at level six is very, very quiet. You can turn it off, of course. You can put it on a timer and set it for up to, you know, 30 minutes or so. Now you also have the ability to set all of your temperatures. You have your high temperature setting. I have the high temperature setting at 60. I have the low temperature setting at 50. I have the high humidity at 55. I have the low humidity at 50. And now you can set up alarms so it goes off for all the different functions and then back to on again or off again. But what I do is I pretty much just leave it in the high humidity range. That's what I'm primarily interested in is the humidity levels inside the crawl space. We don't want to have any high humidity levels. Now in the winter months, I'm probably going to focus more on the temperature range to try to make sure that the warm air from the finished basement gets pushed into the crawl space. I am going to have plumbing over on one side of the uh, crawl space. So that's how the controls work. Now the, even the newer models have a Wi-Fi connection and you can do this all on an app on your phone. Um, my unit here is just about eight months old uh, since I bought it and had the time to install it. So um, you can get the newer one with the uh, app and the Wi-Fi, which would be really cool. I wish I'd waited, but it's okay. Uh, this is going to work just fine for what I'm doing. So as you can see, this is a great little system. It's going to work very, very well for us. Uh, it's going to make sure that we have the right temperature and right humidity in that crawl space without having outdoor vents. Uh, I think you can probably do the same thing for something in your uh, uh, particular situation. Again, that fan exhausts out or exhausts in. So if you're having a smell or you're having a high humidity problem in your crawl space, you can install the fan and exhaust the air out of there. Um, just remember in doing so, what that's going to do is pull whatever temperatures you have from upstairs down into the basement. It's going to help heat your basement. It's going to help cool your basement um, if you put that little fan on it and exhaust out uh, of your crawl space. Obviously, if you've got more than one vent, you're going to need to close the other and just put the fan on in the one, one location and exhaust it out, and that'll help pull the air down from your space up above. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Please give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe when you get a minute. We'd love to have you become members of our family here at the Clear Crew Cab Mini Farm. We do a lot of little projects. We have donkeys. We've got chickens. We've got a tractor. We do all kinds of little practors. Pra <laughs> That's all, folks. Projects around here. Uh, I can't talk, but that's okay. Uh, so anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless. Till the next time we see you.